Hello! Welcome to Amy's Kitchen! Today, I'm going to teach you, like always, time effective, low caloric and self-created recipes. If you're someone new to losing weight, or you want to cook healthy to stay healthy, then you are at the right place. What am I going to teach you today? It's a dish of chicken and vegetables. I don't have a specific name for it because I created it myself. But it's going to be healthy. And also I'm going to teach you today ginger tea which has so many benefits. If you're having flu or sore throat, ginger tea is perfect and generally speaking it is very good for the digestion so you can have it every day just like that you know it's so easy to prepare it and it's very good to have one cup of ginger tea every day and also yeah third point uh, if you are having more muscle aches or body aches then also ginger is so good for relieving that so ginger has many many healing properties especially for the stomach so let's start frozen vegetables chicken mince and dry use for cottage cheese my favorite i try to add this to many of my dishes because it is uh, very good for health and it really improves your sleep quality. If you are having trouble going to sleep, this can be a good choice. I have this pan over here. I will turn it on to full heat. Let's use coconut oil. Okay, so it is heated to full. Now I would add some coconut oil to it. I have not told you about which spices I'm going to add to my chicken. I would add soya sauce, my favorite, and vinegar, of course salt, the normal salt, black pepper powder form, cumin seeds. garlic powder so these are all the spices I'm going to add to my dish I think it's about time that I add a little bit of salt not much to your taste black pepper garlic powder Again, to your taste, I really like the taste of garlic powder. Again, mix, mix, mix. I'm going to add a lot of vegetables to my dish. By a lot, I mean I'm going to add both of these packets, but you can add just one, depends on you. And then I'm going to add soya sauce, a little bit of vinegar, and now cumin seeds. Again, your own choice if you want to add it or you don't want to add it, but I'm gonna add it, should be good. Mix it all. Hmm. 
Now there are two methods to uh, complete the dish uh, preparation. First um, is that you can just um, keep this on the stove, cover it with the lid, cook it for about um, 10 minutes or so. But there is another way. You can add it to another dish, all of this, and bake it in the oven. And that would take about 15 to 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes is a good idea. So I'm going to choose the second method. I'm going to add my vegetables and chicken, which I just prepared, to this dish. Before uh, adding this cheese to this dish, I will turn on my oven. I'm going to preheat it and I'm going to cook it for 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Mm, there is not uh, any, I, I don't find any difference in different forms of cottage cheese available in the market. They're all pretty much the same. So one time I buy one company's cottage cheese and second time some other companies doesn't matter and now I spread it as you can see spread it all just gonna place the dish right inside the oven so now it's time to make the ginger tea you need ginger in one hand and the grater in the other and as much as you like depending how many cups you're making and depending on how strong you want it to be and I will add roughly about one cup of water On maximum power and I will wait for it uh, for the boil to come which will come very soon so if you can hear the sound it has come to a boil I'm just gonna wait for two to three minutes and my ginger tea would be ready and I think two minutes have passed and I should turn it off you can cook it for a little bit longer if you want to and after tasting it you will only after tasting it you will come to know that how much strength of ginger you want uh, in your cup of ginger tea so depending on that you can reduce it or you can increase it uh, whichever tastes better and uh, to make it uh, taste even better you can add a little bit of honey or lemon juice or nothing at all just sip your ginger tea like that So my plain cup of ginger tea is ready. This is how I'm going to stain it. Ta-da! And you know what? I have it every night before going to bed. It has so many, so many health benefits. So I hope you liked today's program and keep smiling and remember you are precious so always take care of yourself. Doodles! <laughs>